everyone, welcome to Silverstone for the season opener of the 2019 season of the BRCC Fiesta Championship race with MRF tyres. Now for the first race here, Sam Watkins has put it on pole position, 0.3 of a second ahead of Ryan Falconbridge. However, this year we've had a new class structure. What was once a season D's is now just one main class. And the way they work that out to make sure the power difference is equal is a combination of ECU uh, cams and also weight reduction. So it should be something special this weekend. And with that, I'll hand you straight over to our race commentator, Richard John Neal, to take you through all the action. Thanks, Anthony. And also for the explainer for our viewers, Simplified Grid, Sam Watkins starts on pole, Ryan Falkenbridge alongside James Waite and Larry Cosbin on row two from Isaac Smith and Jamie Going. Zach Lucas is on row four with Alistair Kelly. Then it's Joel Wrighton and Jake Dawson, Tom Hutchins, John Cooper, Robert Stevens, David Knight, Luke Bannister, Sam Walton and Marco Ricci completing our grid for round one of the 2019 championship. Green flag from the back of the field. It's the yellow car on pole position. Pole the outside here. Sam Watkins looking to convert a good qualifying session into a decent race as the lights go out. We are Fiesta single class championship racing. We haven't got any classic cars racing in the grid this weekend, but hopefully we'll later in the year. And a great start by Sam Watkins with Ryan Falkenbridge second, four wide as they go through Cops Corner to the outside line. Isaac Smith in the 21, Jamie going back down to that. Hats off to Jamie for that. Four cars into one corner is likely to cause a problem but Jamie going backed out of that fair play to him as we go on board with returnee Alistair Kellett looking on the inside line there is the junior graduate Isaac Smith immediately in front of us is very quickly making progress gesticulation there from the Irishman but out front is the pole position man Sam Watkins from Ryan Falkenbridge with Larry Cosby in third James Waite in red is in fourth but there's Alistair Kelly in the white blue and yellow car wide wild moment there for Isaac Smith who comes back on just ahead of John Cooper running in the ZTEC S and you'll see the ZTEC S is running much closer to the STs I'm sure there'll probably be some uh, adjustments made to the levelling out over the course of the season but really good to see them all running in one pack but it's the ST's holding sway at the moment out front Jamie going at the moment down behind John Cooper his ZTEC S Cooper runs very wide there in pursuit of Alistair Kellett leaders for lap two at Beckett's corner Larry Cosby running a strong third there is James Waite another front runner from the junior championship last year Zach Lucas in the 23 car is in behind as well so down the Wellington straight we go now Ryan Falkenbridge here is teeing up to have a look at the inside line he's just gone out of shot as we focus on Larry Cosmin in third place up ahead of James Waite Waite himself coming under pressure from Zach Lucas who goes deep into the corner Isaac Smith in white is to his outside Sam Watkins still nibbling away uh, but now second, and the lead having been taken by Ryan Falkenbridge there. Why moment by Zach Lucas, who kicks up a little bit of gravel. But it's Ryan Falkenbridge, who qualified second on the grid. Who's there, Larry Cosman beginning to close in on these two, has started to have a little bit of a battle now. Watkins goes to the outside line, and round the outside at Cops Corner. What a move here by Watkins, who's going for it. Larry Cosman's coming into the mix as well. Cosman's going to go through the middle, and makes contact with Watkins, who rides out, and that's going to be into the barrier. Here's the view from Kelly, not what we wanted to see. Three, we wanted to see three cars dicing for the lead, but not one spearing into the barrier. And that's the prone position for the pole position man. A sad end to Sam Watkins race. But Larry Cosbin is now dicing with Ryan Falkenbridge for the race lead as they come down the Wellington straight. Cosbin taking a wide line here. This is the aggressor's line. He's going to be able to maybe have a look up the inside as they go into Luffield. No, he's got it all pretty much straightened out and following the race leader. James Waite is third. Then Isaac Smith, got the, so the two junior, Fiesta Junior graduates uh, together with Zach Lucas, who you remember racing in the, what was Class D, ZTEC S last year, now running ST as they cross the line. Now I'm assuming that things have been sorted out with Sam Watkins because they're racing on and it's 
Cosmin having a look round the outside line, but he runs wide. That leaves the door open for James Rating and Cosmin. Was there contact there with Cosmin, who has lost out possibly with Isaac Smith? And we've got the red flag. Just as I was saying that things had been sorted out, I'm guessing that's for the Sam Watkins car. They'd actually completed a full lap and passed the place where the pole position man's car was. Sam Watkins' car recovered, and that is very clearly taking no further part in the meeting. Such a great shame, because Sam Watkins, the Swansea man, had qualified on pole. Ready for the restart here at Silverstone, and it's Larry Cosmin on the inside of the front row, but pole is with Ryan Falconbridge. Isaac Smith lines up on in P4 the inside of row two lights on and off very quick I've never seen it's like flicking a switch literally on and off but away we go Ryan Falkenbridge not caught out by that he gets a very good start Zachary Lucas is challenging for second but currently third on the outside line Larry Cosmin down in fourth place Robert Stevens in the 89 and a little bit of fluid, I think, as a result of that contact earlier on. But it's Falkenbridge, the leader from Zach Lucas now in second. James Waite in red is third. Alistair Kellett ran the outside. Then we've got John Cooper. Kellett bounces over the kerbs, loses a few places there. The Irishman, without a doubt, the most travelled driver. And on board with John Cooper in the 88 car. So Cooper coming down the Wellington straight. Nice onboard shot that you can get to see. John very much at work coming down into Brooklands left-hander drift out towards the curbs on the exit then the right-hander through Luffield and into Woodcut but it's still Falconbridge out front in the 13 car Zach Lucas next up then James Waite Larry Cosmin in orange and black running in fourth position at the moment good to see Cosmin back in the championship as well his car seemingly none the worse for wear for the little bit of contact that he had as he tried to go through on the inside line to challenge for the lead on board with James Kellett once again so has caught Cosmin and he's putting him under a fair bit of pressure here this time the lines are good and coming on to the Wellington straight so he's going to have a look maybe at the inside line if he can get close enough you can see the ST just getting away a little bit over the Newer ZTEC S and Larry Cosby getting stuck in, looks at the outside line, difficult to pass on the outside there, but he's having a go. We've seen it done in other Formula E before, but Cosby now lost a bit of momentum. Kellett now on the outside line, he'll tuck back in and hope for a little bit of a drift wide on the exit of Woodcut to maybe nip up the inside line. Can't quite do it as we watch the shot from the from outfield rather than on board. Kellett in the blue, grey and uh, yellow trimmed car there is Ryan Falkenbridge up ahead of James Waite with Isaac Smith running behind and that's the top four the race leader now as you can see is Zach Lucas in the 23 so Zachary Lucas looking for a first win far too early perhaps for him to be counting his chickens just yet but Falkenbridge is next up Waite coming under pressure from Isaac Smith and then the white 46 car, fifth car in shot, is Jamie going. So down into Brooklands they go. And Lucas looking in fine fettle here. Ryan Falkenbridge is in second, but was there a little mistake? It was from Zach Lucas. So he might come under pressure. It's a three-way scrap for second place at the moment with Falkenbridge at the head of that. And he's going to be mindful of that. That will, without a doubt, be affecting the way he heads towards the chequered flag in this race as the cars go on to the last lap. Car in front, ready to be picked off by the leader. It is a, a fairly respectable gap at the moment between Lucas and Falkenbridge. Then in third place, James Waite, looking pretty good at the moment there down on Marco Ricci the 50 car who the London who, who goes wide allows him through on the inside he's sticking right to the outside line now to bounce over the curbs for James Waite in the red 17 that will lose him a podium position so it's Lucas first in shot then Ryan Falkenbridge 
and James Wade, well, he's got back on track and he's side by side with Isaac Smith at the moment for third place. So the battle is now for third. It looks like it's going to be a first win for Zach Lucas in the ST. He's driven so well. Wait at the moment is, I think, still in third place, but that yet to be settled as Zach Lucas, who's also got the fastest lap back on lap seven. Smith's gone through. Isaac Smith up into third, but it's Zachary Lucas who will take the chequered flag to win round one of the 2019 BRSC CPS the Championship. Ryan Falkenbridge second, Isaac Smith third. James Waite is in fourth place from Jamie Going. Larry Cosmin is in sixth place a good race to get the season underway not so good sadly for sam watkins but here's the result lucas falconbridge isaac smith then james wait jamie going and larry cosman ahead of tom hutchins next up alistair kellett and john cooper joel wright and david nye robert stevens luke bannister jake dawson sam walton marco ricci completing our finishers fastest lap zach lucas well, Zach, what a race. Uh, talk us through it. I mean, a lot happened. Yeah, I mean, from the beginning, I was in seventh. I started seventh and managed to work myself up the uh, grid. And then from the restart, I got a brilliant start, got into third, I think. And then from there on, it was uh, brilliant. Ryan made a little mistake up there and uh, I managed to take it. So it was good. Really good. Yeah. More to come in the second race then? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, for now, go and enjoy it. Well done. Thank you. Ryan, you outbreak yourself going into Brooklyn's. Uh, that give uh, Lucas the, the win. Yeah, I was just uh, just side by side down the straight. Obviously, he's got the toe from from the back of me. He's pulled out, just outbreak myself, and just just overshot the breaking point ever so slightly. And it's just gave him the chance, unfortunately. But other than that, I thought it was pretty even. But a great racing with Zachary. Race number two for the BRCC Fiesta Championship with MRF tyres is about to get underway. And they line up how they finish the first race, which puts Zach Lucas on pole position. Then it's Ryan Falkenbridge in second place. And what a fierce battle it was in the first race they had with him. Uh, obviously, Isaac Smith is in third place, but let's uh, have a quick chat with uh, the pole man. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Lucas, it's the first time you've uh, been on pole. How are you feeling? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, nervous. Nerves are kicking in a bit, but. Um Looking forward to it and hopefully we we'll keep it all cool and get a good start and see what happens from there. Have you uh, calmed down since the first race because it was some battle that you had? Yeah, I have, yeah. I was um, buzzing off of that one, uh, I must say, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've calmed down a bit now, chilling out and just trying to relax and yeah. get no. ready for this next race. Ryan's not going to make it easy for you? No, he's definitely not. He's a brilliant <laughs> driver and, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Good luck. Cheers. Ryan Falkenbridge on the front row, but pole position man is Zach Lucas. Row two, Isaac Smith and James Waite. Jamie going on row three with Larry Cosmin. Then it's Tom Hutchins and the first of the ZTEC S cars, Alistair Kelly, John Cooper and Joel Wright are next from David Nye, Robert Stevens, Luke Bannister and Jake Dawson, row seven. Sam Walton and Marco Ricci completing the grid because Sam Watkins you will, won't be surprised to know, hasn't made the start. Green flag at the back of the field. We're very nearly ready. It's a quick turnaround on race one. Five-second board shown already. There are the lights. Out go the lights, and we are BRSCC Fiesta Championship racing here at Silverstone. Good start by Zach Lucas from the outside, but the black car of Ryan Falkenbridge taking the battle to him on the inside line. They're all away well indeed. There is Marco Ricci. We saw at the tail end of race number one and Marco looking to bag another points finish here but the race leader as they come into Beckett's for the first time is Ryan Falkenbridge Zach Lucas is in second we've got David Knight on the outside line of Robert Stevens so he's getting stuck in John Cooper is there as well on board with Alistair Kellett and going past him is Jamie going Larry Cosman in front of Jamie at the moment coming down the straight and that's the Red ST of Tom Hutchins, the Crobra man, who goes through on the inside line. Alistair Kellett's going to take the battle to him around the outside line. Hutchins knows he's there, gives him the room. That's a fine piece of motor racing by those two. Kellett, talented Irish racer, of course, was the Class D champion in 2016 before Jamie White came in. Jamie White, of course, double Class D champion. 2017 and 2018, as we watch Robert Stevens going through. We've got uh, still got a, a fair few champions in the mix. David Nye is racing in the STs as well. Alistair Kellett around the outside line then of Tom Hutchins. Side by side still those two. Good racing from those boys. And it's still Ryan Falkenbridge out front. Third position 
in white and blue is Isaac Smith, who was fourth in the junior championship last year. And immediately behind him in red is the man who was runner-up in the juniors last year, tied on total points with eventual winner Magnus Kriklevi, but lost out on the drop scores. And that is James Waite in red. But it's three cars battling it out for the lead with Ryan Falkenbridge, the Mansfield man, in front grabs the curb there hangs on to it Isaac Smith busy having a, a look here and trying to see what he can do about Zach Lucas at the moment so Lucas second Isaac Smith James Waite Larry Cosmin then Jamie going in the white 46 Tom Hutchins followed by Alistair Kellett who was the pace setter in the ZTEC S's in race number one and he's again in this one down towards Cops they go Isaac Smith is busy having a look here at Zach Lucas. Lucas was wide into Cops, was slightly wider than the race leader, maybe thinking about having a exploration of the wider line. Larry Cosmin still back in fifth place, so four cars together. Cosmin a little bit further back going, he's still there in sixth position. See what Lucas can do now as they come into Beckett's. A bit of bumping and barging over the kerbs on board now with James Wade, so the lead trio immediately in front of us, watch the speed, it will top out at around about 105 miles an hour as they come past the BRDC building, right of shot, and we've got a challenge on for the lead, Falkenbridge coming under pressure from Zach Lucas who goes wide now, and Isaac Smith in the white car, maybe sees a gap on the inside line there, it'll be the outside on the next corner, and Smith's got up into second, but can he hang on to it, he's going wide, Zach Lucas trying to get back up on the inside line, but Isaac Smith is braving it out, Ryan Falkenbridge in black still, the leader, Falkenbridge leads, but look at that, Isaac Smith has made it into second place and all that started on with the gap as they went into Brooklands, now Smith's looking for the lead, the white and blue car looking for the lead on the inside run, very impressive youngster last year was Isaac Smith, comes from Otley, had a full season in the juniors last year, 10 podia, he only finished off the podium I think four times out of his finishes, he had a couple of DNFs. A very quick driver was the Teesside Honda Cadet karting champion back in 2012. So a very, very quick youngster. And he's in P2 at the moment with Zach Lucas looking to get back in front of him. And Lucas tees up what was the inside line on the exit of Beckett. Outside as they come to Brooklands, rest of the line is stern. So Zach Lucas, the man taking the risk here. The race leader takes a wide line in. Larry Cosmin's having a look down the inside line as well in the orange and black car. Cosmin is coming through from fifth into third place. Isaac Smith still challenging for the lead. James Waite gets a very good look at the back end of Larry Cosmin, who challenges for second as well. I think Cosmin read that well, made it through. The HGV London car still in third place. So work to do for James Waite before he can have a, have a nibble at his former junior compatriot. What a battle for the lead we've got, though. It's Falkenbridge who runs wide. Isaac Smith's through. Isaac Smith goes through. James Wade runs a little bit wide there in the 17, but Smith's got the lead from Falkenbridge. Zach Lucas is third. Fantastic racing from the BRSCC Fiestas. Jamie Going is next, so Going is fourth. Well, he was fourth. James Wade back into fourth now. And Alistair Kellett is in the mix as well. Far and away, the leading ZTEC S in this one. Kellett on the inside line, looking to try and head up towards an overall podium. And that'll be a sensational result if he can get that. The first time that the modern Fiestas have run as a single class. Last time the Fiesta Championship ran as a single class was the opening years of the championship, back in 97, when the cars moved on from the supporting the British Touring Car Championship. Mike Gorton, the champion that year, in what was Class A, in uh, years gone by as we look at Kellett now looking on the inside line of Zach Lucas he's going to have a go he's got Tom Hutchins now behind him on board with Kellett again James Waite in red is the machine two cars in front Zach Lucas gets the power of the ST down a bit of spray coming up off the circuit won't bother Alistair Kellett to just look at the smooth driving style on board with Kellett double championship winning driving style from the Irishman who is chasing the race one winner at the moment. Now I'm trying to get my head round the points. And who's going to lead the points coming out of this meeting? It's going to be close between Smith and Falkenbridge. And I have to do the sums as we get closer to the end of the race. As you watch Jamie going trying to close in, but it's Isaac Smith. This, by my reckoning, potentially Smith's first car win. He didn't win in juniors, he had a plethora of podia. 
as I told you earlier on. Uh, but he really has earned this. We have seen overtaking in this. We've seen some great defending, some superb racing to get our 2019 season underway. So it's Smith from Falkenbridge. Big battle on for third place. There is James Waite having a look. A bumpy moment there for Zach Lucas who loses. That's how you get punished with a bumpy moment. He goes through. Kellett's going up into fourth place ahead of Zachary Lucas as well, who's now down into fifth position. So Lucas has got to try and fight back. He's got Tom Hutchins and Jamie going behind him. Hutchins in the second of the red cars on screen, the only red car on screen now, as the first red machine goes out of shot. Jamie going, the boss of Jam Sport, Northamptonshire man, so home tarmac for Jamie is next up. He's running in seventh place. The other runners, the rest of the runners, headed by Joel Wright and from Robert Stevens at the moment, just to try and give those guys a little bit of a race name check. But... This is a, a very close battle indeed. And Kellett and Lucas, I think, as they go on to the last lap, enjoying their race. Tom Hutchins has got the fastest lap of the race, incidentally. And Hutchins running in sixth position. That's how competitive it is as Isaac Smith starts to work his way through some, some traffic. Well, one car, if you can call that traffic. It's Marco Ricci we saw at the end of race number one. Marco keeps it nice and tight. And Isaac Smith is through outside line he's got the lead still smith it's not a huge lead but i tell you what it's playing rather well to him there because i don't think marco ricci necessarily affected things but it's given isaac smith who managed to get past him fairly easily and he's going to bag his first ever car racing win the former kart chat side honda connect kart champion as we mentioned has had a super run he has earned this this has not been fastest off the front for isaac smith and the man who was fourth in the Fiesta Junior Championship last year is going to win round two of the championship. By my reckoning, will tie at the top of the points table, leaving here with Ryan Falkenbridge. But this is his moment as the checkered flag is deployed. And it's Isaac Smith that takes the win. Ryan Falkenbridge is second. James Wade third. Alistair Kellett fourth. Then Zach Lucas and Tom Hutchins. JB going in seventh place ahead of Joel Wrighton who is eighth, Robert Stevens ninth, David Nye completes the top ten ahead of Jake Dawson and Luke Bannister, Marco Ricci thirteenth completes the finishers, championship table, Smith and Falkenbridge tied on 92, Zach Lucas on 88, James Waite fourth on 80 points as we head to Pembrey. Isaac, firstly what a race, congratulations, uh, you said before the race that you wanted to go one step up on the podium, you got a win, it's your first ever win, well done. Thank you very much. It was quite tough out there, especially with the rain. Trying to gauge the car to what was the circumstances was, was very difficult. A very good race from Ryan behind all the way through. Just over the moon, I can't, can't really say anything. James, firstly, well done. What a way race to be involved with and to come away on a podium. You've got to be pleased. Yes, I'm, yeah, I'm really happy of getting a podium in my first senior race, but you know, it, it was a lot more stressful than I thought it was going to be. I was in the thick of it every now and then, so. You know, ultimately, I want to thank the team, Jamsport, and my dad for getting me here. Can't thank them enough.